I'm not your f- I'm not your f***ing Malawian f***ing bitches Go f*** yourself And don't f*** all those bitches you wanna come and say It's gonna make your babies your f***ing mother child bastards Fucking cunt, go fuck yourself. I hate you! I'm not a cow, bitch. Vote! Open! Listen, I'm gonna make you sweat, make you wet, make you wet, wet, wet. I'm gonna make you sick, little baby, pissing in your chest of pressure. Vote! Unlock! Hello! What is up, you dazzling diamonds? And the others welcome back to my channel my name is linda kyle and this is the vault anyway you guys let's jump straight into this video Alrighty then you guys if you guys have not yet um please do like share and subscribe to this channel all right in today's video you guys or rather in this video we are going to be talking about the drama that is unfolding with DJ Tira his wife Gugu and the cousin Ta now it seems like a crazy voodoo situation is happening amongst these people amongst this square it's not even a triangle the square of people right it's Tira the wife Gugu and Ta but then there's this other one character over here. Now we have to put her at the bottom because she's a bottom feeder and apparently allegedly a very dark person. So everybody that's dark goes to the bottom. Right? Apparently allegedly this lady over here and they said that she's an Indian lady is friends with Ukuku. But she is envious, jealous and thirsty. For Gugu's life, or to be Gugu's friend, who is DJ Tira's wife. It is coming out that this lady over here has been bewitching the other three and many more. Guys, there are screenshots and messages, there are video recordings and voice note recordings of the things that this Indian lady, we don't know who she is, but apparently she's Indian, so that's the only way we can describe her right by her ethnicity it is coming out that she's been doing some voodoo dark magic on these people not only she wants Uku, apparently allegedly to be so in love not in love in a romantic sense but to be number one in Gugu's life above everything above Gugu's husband above Gugu's kids and family in these screenshots She's chatting to her Sangoma. Sangoma. Once again, they just keep popping up, don't they? These healers who are not really healing. But if anything, destroying. Messages to and fro, or rather to the Sangoma person. We don't know what the Sangoma person was saying. I didn't see anything about the response. Right? Where she's asking the Sangoma person to perform all this dark magic to eliminate Gugu's family to destroy her life, to just damage her so that Gugu can come back to her when everything is said and done because she wants to be everything to Gugu. I don't understand why people hate people so much. Why people want to be involved in pe these are supposed to be, this lady is supposed to be Gugu's friend. I hate you! But she wants Gugu's mother to be deleted. She wants Gugu's kids to be deleted. She wants everything to end for Gugu's husband that is making them this paper, this dough. That is giving them this life because she's jealous. She's jealous of her friend. Where do you get the time, all oh, you witches and warlocks, you weird, weak people? Where do you get the time? To do these witchcraft things on the people that you claim to love. And why do you do it? This lady apparently was even saying to a Sangoma person. That I will sell my house. My whole entire house to pay you. To get this dark 
voodoo stuff done on these people because I want them out of the way and I want Google all to myself. But I also want to destroy her. I want her to be unhappy. I want her to solely depend on me. You will sell your house to control someone else's life in that way. Why? What is wrong with some of you out there? Lakula. In one of the videos, she was screaming, I hate you. Ah she, she, she didn't sound like herself. And I'm saying herself and I don't know her. But it doesn't sound like any normal human being. In my opinion. It does not. Where do you get the time and energy to do these things? Concoct these things? Go, go and consult these people. Where do you get the time and energy? Instead of focusing on yourself and building yourself, you're busy trying to destroy other people. Wakula. Of course, Wakula. You're sick. You're like a germ. You're like a worm, an insignificant worm without a gender. That's what you like to me, in my opinion. I'm just saying. Because they did say, and I did tell you guys before, that apparently, allegedly, worms don't have a gender. So they're useless. That lady's like that, in my opinion. To want to even go sell your house so you can destroy somebody else while you're a witch. You're a dirty witch. Guys, some friendships are not worth it. And the signs are always there. It's clear as day. I don't have too many friends. In fact, I have acquaintances around me. But I have one friend. And that's Vanda. And she's white. So I feel like I'm kind of safe. Not to say that white people don't do these voodoo things. But I think I know her well enough to know that she wouldn't cross that line. Type of situation. And especially not with a, a prayerful woman like myself. Or one that has these dreams where it is communicated by God to me who needs to go and who needs to stay. I know where the danger zone is. There must have been at some point an, a sign to say that this lady is dangerous. There must have been. You need to watch your friends because the hate is coming from your camp. Not only your camp or your acquaintances or your friends, also your family members at times. People are doing which in those pictures there was candles, pictures, all these funny freaky things. And the hate in that lady, oh my gosh, it's so scary. It is so scary. I don't understand. I, I, I think it's possible for people to have friends in this day and age. But I'm not putting myself through that. I know someone who's close to me who sometimes divulges information about their friend group. The jealousy, the envy, the fights, the drama. And I'm just like, oh, thank you, Lord, for putting me in isolation for so long. Not to experience these things with friends, so-called friends. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't let it consume you. Oh, you're sick. You're really fucking sick, you know I ain't talking about that wrongness shit No, that ain't it What you got is in the pits Bottom of the barrel lower than a shark shit shadow You got a big mouth, you talk that shit I wish that I could sock it Wish that I could stop it Block it Put it in a backpack bag Zip it, lock it Double black bag in a trash bitch Toss it You got the victim mentality Narcissistic insanity I can see you just thinking bitch You're drowning in jealousy The hype that I'm going to You wanted a fancy Jealousy Don't let it consume you Jealousy will expose what you real you it's like a demon in the dark, corrupting your mind who you are Jealousy, don't let it consume you Jealousy will expose who's real you It's like a demon in the dark, corrupting your mind who you are Uh-uh, no, no, hail to the no It's a very dangerous game, people are jealous The way this lady hates these people, damn, she's so invested Why not invest in yourself? You would even sell your house to destroy these people. She was talking about the, the Sangomas creatures when you send your creatures. Creatures, listen to yourself. You're fucking weird. You are, and you need to know that. And, 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 and these people, do, do they not feel weird? There's no way you can't feel weird doing these freaky dicky things of the night. Creatures, you're talking about creatures. Wow, you're such a believer in the dark shit. 
only for the Sangoma person to then send these messages to someone and Tira and Ta then divulge it to the world. I don't understand why they didn't share her face or her name. Maybe Baba Mbeyile. Because the creature is Baba Mbeyile. But I'm dying to know who this lady is. I feel like, like we all need to see who she is. I told you 2024. People should be named and shamed for the grimy, grimy things that they are doing. Especially the witchcraft. So that we can know who you are. We need to know who these people are. Why haven't they released her face or her name? They should. That is not your friend. That is not something you can come back from after you find out this information. The witch doctor is the one that sent these things to them. So the witch doctor actually knows more. Khusha, this lady wants to do more harm, even more harm for a witch doctor who has actually assisted this lady before to put out or share this information with the people that are involved. It's bad. People want to delete you. They want what you have. And even if they have nice, comfortable lives, they still just, they want what you have. They don't understand how is it that you can have all these things. It's creepier when it's a friend situation and she just wants you to herself. For what? Are we going to run away into the sunset and make some love, love, love? I, I don't think so. Ufunani. Engaga, focus on your own life. Focus on building yourself. Focus on making yourself stronger. Take care of your house. Don't send it to do witchcraft, you weirdo. You're a weirdo at that point to me. And look now. Everybody is being exposed. It's 2024, remember? That's why this information is coming out now. Because I'm pretty sure the other people in this, um, tri this um, square, this box, already had suspicions about this person. This person was cooking, making food for them. People are snakes out there. And the people that are snakes are slithering and they are slimy right around you. It's going to be quite interesting to see how this whole situation ends. The buck stops here. Yes or no? Wanting to harm people's kids that have done nothing. Innocent kids. As a matter of fact, the other people have done nothing as well. You're just a hateful person. You've got... It's demons. These people have demons in them. The way she was screaming and shouting in that video. I don't know, but it didn't even sound like herself because it doesn't sound like a human being. It sounds like a demon. Um, an angry demon. Why are you mad for? You need to get deliverance, mama. She needs to get deliverance from these evil dark forces. Before she bursts, goes over the edge and does something really bad. Tira was saying that he's been in and out of hospital not knowing what's happening with his life. Not so long ago it was said that Tira's wife was cheating on him. Who leaked that information? Was it her? Trying to destroy these people because of jealousy. Don't let it con um, consume you. As a matter of fact, don't open that door to jealousy. Salute people and congratulate them, congratulate them when they are doing well. We can play all these shady games, internet games, and do all this freaky dicky stuff, but now you're doing witchcraft at that level. You're sick. You need to be in a mental institution or something like that. And you also need deliverance. You really do. This story is going to be one that you actually want to pay attention to. Let's hope that she will be named and shamed. And then once the truth comes out in this way, your little spells and tricks are not going to work. Especially if your Sangoma is the one that's divulging it. Oh, look at you now. Never thought you were going to make it to 2024 and all these things will start unraveling and showing their faces. Huh? Look at you now, you witch. Witchy witch. And that goes out to all the witches as well. Abu Maria. Maria on TikTok is a character, but it goes to show you that, and this is the reason why people love with that character so much, is because we have all experienced a Maria in one way or another. So we all know what it is and what it looks like. So we can relate. Be careful of the people that you keep around you. 
Sometimes it's even family members. People are so, they are so nasty. But nasty, nasty, nasty. They will do anything. And they're controlled by demons. They are possessed, and it's not just one demon at that point. You are possessed by multiple demons. Multiple. They're inside you, living, taking your body for a joyride every single day. Because this is not normal human behavior at all. Please, guys, if you're doing witchcraft, stop and repent for your sins. And then go get some deliverance. Isn't this darker from you? Because you're dirty. If that's you, you're dirty. And I'm pretty damn sure your microwave is dirty too. Because witches, they are navy grey. Their homes are navy grey. They smell navy grey. And then we can spot you. We really can. Labanakara, you witches. Like I that navy greyness. I don't know, maybe it's the auras. But that navy greyness pierces through like a sunlight. Like a sunlight. Sis! Bum dark. And I don't like it. I don't like witches and warlocks. I don't like those people. They're so dark. And navy grey. Anyway, let this be a lesson to everyone. Making new, especially making new friends now. <laughs> Don't do it. It's not worth it. Witchcraft is easily accessible. Even to young teens, they can just walk into anyone's doom if they have enough money and go do these things. So uh, anyone can do it. It's best to just keep your circle very, very small. Sometimes even that one friend that you have could be the one that is bewitching you. I don't know what to do. Uh, uh, apart from praying to God and having God protect you. But you need to question yourself when you want a whole posse of people around you. Why? Not in this day and age. Why? Don't do that to yourself or your family. People are dangerous. They will stab you and eat you. That's what they actually do. They actually do that shit. I'm not just saying it. They do it. You have to be careful. And you have to armor up. With the word of the Lord, you have to open that Bible. You have to get on your knees and you have to pray. You have to. The Bible is living. It's alive. Trust me, once you start reading that book, you're going to change. In one way or another. Slowly but surely, you change. And you strengthen up when you are reading those words in that book. It's the best protection for your life. He is the best protection for your life. There's no other way. These witches and warlocks, they will wake up at 12, 3 a.m. And they will perform their rituals. Christians, get up too. Don't be lazy anymore. There's no time to be lazy and just want to sleep all the time. Why are you sleeping when these witches and warlocks are working so hard? We have to pray. We have to pray. We, we have to. We don't have a choice. To begin ourselves and our loved ones and your community and just people in general that you don't even know. Pray for them. Pray for the world. We are only we are much stronger as a group because these creepy people, they're not lazy. They're here to fucking finish everybody off. Because they're mad. And they have demons in them. The real person that was in there before, that soul, that spirit. It's sleeping, it's taking a break. It doesn't even know how to, um, what's this, rummage through all the demons that are in it. One demon comes, you get rid of that demon, you let, or you open the door, seven more come back. And it's like that, and it's like that, and it's like that, and they come back stronger. Until you get to a point where now you are the murderer Eliza. Will I have it? Well, that's the last level. What will I have it? Whether you're doing it with your own hands or you're doing it through witchcraft. Right? Be careful, guys. Be very, very careful. And if you feel like jealous feelings are coming upon you and you cannot see the good in other people or you don't have forgiveness, you need to pray about it, guys. Try. It's, it's, it's normal for you to get angry and stuff. But you, there has to be a point where you're like, I, I, I'm letting this thing go or this situation go. I can't do this anymore. If you can't do that by yourself, get help. Because it's not you at that point, it's the demons. Right? Anyway, if you guys haven't already, please do like, share and subscribe to this channel. Baby, 
baby. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.